Welcome to our channel once again my friends, Realized Guyana, home of all traditional Guyanese recipes. Today we're going to be cooking something that not everyone loves, which is squash, but hey, it depends on what you cook it with, right? So today we are cooking it with chicken, yes, chicken, and we're going to be making a curry with it. So we're going to be cooking squash curry with chicken. Delicious. You got to try this one. So for this recipe guys, we're going to be using one squash there which is about a pound and a half. We're going to be using three uh, drumsticks, chicken drumsticks. We're going to use the meat only from that. We're also going to be using some curry powder, roasted ground jeera, garam masala, half an onion, pepper to taste, uh, some garlic, scallions, black pepper, uh, of course salt. So all, as usual, all the ingredients and measurements will be listed below the video in the description box. So having said that guys, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin by cleaning our squash, cutting it up, get it ready. First thing. So cutting them up first makes it easier to peel as well, as you know. So you want to take out the seeds and the guts of the squash, remove that. So you want to take your fingers and get all the seeds out from in there because it's hard really sometimes to get with only your knife. So we're going to cut up our squash now. So this side is okay. Alright, so we have all our squash cut up already. That's here. So we're going to move on with the rest of the ingredients now. So time to get our chicken ready now. So as you know we like to use the meat from the drumsticks for our recipes. The meat from here is so juicy and succulent. So we like to cut our meat about this size here for our curries or to mix with our vegetables and so on. I don't like to have a whole drumstick in my curry. Some people do. Alright, so we have our scallions, our onions chopped, so now we're going to go make our curry paste. We already also have the garlic and pepper pounded in our mortar. So we have in here our curry powder, roasted rung jeera and garam masala. And that's the garlic and pepper that we pounded in the mortar. Add some water. Some more water. So you add enough water to get it to this consistency that you see here.
My auto card paste is ready. Alright guys, so we've washed our squash and our chicken. So everything is ready. We've added some oil to our karahi. Waiting for this to heat up now. Alright, so our oil is hot. So we have added our onions to start with. We have fried it up a little bit. So we're just going to fry this up for about a minute. Now we're going to add our curry paste. Uh, that curry mixture always smells so good, yeah? Yummy! So if you never liked squash before guys, you try this recipe, I'm pretty sure you're gonna fall in love with squash again. Be sure. So as usual, we're gonna fry our curry paste for about 2 minutes. And you want to stir to prevent it from burning. So our two minutes is up and we're going to add our chicken now, which we've already washed. And give that a little mix. So we're going to add our squash now right away, right after we add our chicken. So the chicken is all meat and it's in small pieces so it'll, it'll cook quickly. So now we're going to add some black pepper. Salt to taste. Now we're going to give that a good mix of course. So you want to get everything mixed in nicely here. All your curry paste distributed, coating everything. So we're going to cover this now and we're going to let it bunge, as we say. There you go, see you in a bit. Alright, so it's about 10 minutes for our squash curry. And we're gonna give it a turn now. Wow, that's looking good, isn't it? Look at that. This looks like it's ready for some rice already. Or some ail roti. Where is it? That's smelling so good too, guys. Delicious. This kitchen smelling nice, nice. So we're adding some scallions there now. So as I said the chicken pieces were cut small, so they're cooked quickly. So this is just about 10 minutes since we started. Alright my friends, so we're gonna add a little bit of water to help boil the squash. The chicken is fine, it's gonna cook. So just a little water for the squash. We're gonna turn that up, mix that in well. And then we're gonna cover this back and let it cook some more. There we go. 
All right, my friends, so it's been about 20 minutes and our squash curry with chicken should be ready. And look at that, man, looking so good, eh? That's looking delish. So this is ready here, guys. See that? So that's it for this recipe, my friends. Yummy squash curry with chicken. Both with rice, roti, whatever you like to have it with. So if you like this video, my friends, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please click the bell icon so you get notifications from us whenever we post new videos. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.